the how to do the resistance measurement at site. This is an electrode having length of 1.5 meter and the length of electrode that is in the earth is 1 meter. And we have selected that 10 times of that that is a 10 meter. And that T2 is at 6.2, 62 percent tool we are applying here 61.8 now we will just what we have done you can see here we have sorted C1 and P1 in the meter please start the reading now Initially it goes up to the range that is 200 here and now it will show you the value and finally the value is 8.4. But what I have done to show you the difference now P1, C1 are not shorted here in the meter. These are separately coming to the electrode to be tested. See here. Now press, now see the difference. What happened? Again, we are pressing at the same range of 200 ohm and now we will get the results. Earlier it was 8.5 in the tune of 8.4, 8.3 let's see what happens now you can see it has reduced it has reduced because this time the voltage drop due to shorting of C1, P2 in the earth tester has been compensated this is the actual value the best method to perform earth resistance is that that C1 and P1 not to be shorted that must go to the electrode that we I have done here separately to electrode to be tested that is the electrode under test and uh, it matters especially when the readings you want to achieve is less than 1 ohm and suppose you end up at, at 1.2 and you want to achieve 1 in that case 0.2 high on the higher side matters a lot think about it thank you in last two experiments i have shown you the methods of resistance measurement of electrode in the very first method what i did i make short of uh, C1 and P1 in the earth tester only. In the second part, what I did, I removed the shot and I brought two separate wires up to electrode from C1 and P1. This is the third one. When you don't want to bring separate wire from C1 and P2 up to electrode to be tested, you do one thing, you increase the dia of this wire. What I have done, I have taken double wire to increase the dia. Or you can take thick wire instead of two wire. And you make the short. This is the short. Now see what happens. Now I'm ready, please press. You see the value. It is at the same range of 200 ohm. Let's see what happens. The third type of experiment we are performing at site. In the very first it was 8.3, 8.4. In the second it was 8. Let's see what happens now. Again it is 8. It means, it simply implies that you have two good options. One is to Bring two separate wires from C1 and C2 up to electrode to be tested or increase the size or the area of wire you are bringing from C1 
Yes.